Aries, you are, first of all, creating new feelings about life itself. So you have this emotional upgrade about how life is. Life is this way. Is it hard? Is it easy? Is it is it healing? Is it better? There's a basic, like basic emotional foundation about what life is. And what this leads to by the end of the week is, well, if life is this way, then I can have a new sense of security like I've never had before. My sense of security can be something different than I never anticipated. So you're going to really realize that, you know, you may end up with a happy ending or you may end up retired in a way you didn't think about, or you might end up, you know, being a lot more grounded than you ever imagined. You know, I think for Aries who I'll often come from sort of a sky is falling childhood, the fact that the sky is not falling now is profound. Now, this means you're going to have to commit to making changes in your career, uh, leadership, parenting, uh, legacy decisions. Those have to change. So probably a lot of decision, different decisions about uh, future and career and parenting. The big timeline shift that happens has to do with your karma and your relationship to God. So I am noticing that Aries's are changing their relationship to God right now whether they're realizing they are a messenger themselves or they're realizing they never got to know God very well, or they're realizing they want to ascend like a yogi. But I am seeing all Aries is having some sort of new interest in spirituality and that interest in spirituality must tie and support, you know, your feelings about life. Your feelings about life must uh, support your spirituality. And with Mercury and Venus moving into Leo, your heart is now opening to the idea of loving yourself on a level that you probably have never imagined. So self-love is now just starting to light up, especially once Venus goes into Leo later in the week um, on Thursday. Then you really start to light up for the Aries. It's Aries.